Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I am hitting the road to try the 14 inch portable monitor from Dell. And I have to tell you, I am so nervous to see is this actually as functional when you are not working from home. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And yes, I am not working from home today. I am heading out and I'm actually here outside the cafe and I'm going to go ahead and test out the Dell portable monitor and see, is it really that functional and is it a huge benefit to have? All right, let's just get to it. Okay, future Jess here. So as I was walking in Cafe Depot, I had a little bit of nerves because I have not worked besides a hotel or at home anywhere else in the last two years. I just wanted to film this setup of what it looks like when you are working remotely in case you haven't also worked remote in a long time. And it was very seamless, right? Backpack is packed, Latitude laptop. Here is the lovely 14-inch portable monitor Super stoked to use it at a cafe, especially because you don't have your extended monitors when you are on the road. It was very easy to pack my bag and get set up here. So all I had to do is take the cable, go ahead and plug it into the monitor. And within, I think, five seconds, the monitor gets set up. And here we go. And all I had to do is make sure that I rearrange the display settings in the display user and here is my work anywhere set up now i'm going to show you a conversation with two of my colleagues Hi. at dell <laughs> and i hope you enjoy it here it is christian wow what camera are you using hey good morning jessica i'm using the uh, the dell ultra sharp web camera please and... you didn't bring that to mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely did. You know what? The the 720p resolution doesn't cut it for me anymore. Once you go to 4K, you can't go back anymore. But does it clip on your monitor? Is that like I haven't yeah. I haven't seen one yet in in the in like in the box. I haven't haven't touched one. Does it easily clip? Yeah, the 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 clipping feature is is fairly uh, fairly easy. It just goes right on. And you know what? You don't, uh, no worries of, of damaging it because there's this magnetic top to it, right? So that yep. that nice fancy, I think, Sony lens that it comes with uh, won't get any scratches or anything. So yeah, maintain this great quality. Yeah, it's got well, the I mean, Sony service sensor. So it's all uh, the good stuff. So if you move around, like, is it going to follow you? Uh, you know what? I think I removed and the Dell peripheral managed. Oh, wait, oh. wait. There yeah. it is. There it is. Yeah, there, it is. there's my face. Good call out, Jess. Okay. That's Along cool. the way. I'm so jealous right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it, it, it makes an impact, right? When you're, you're, on, yep. you're on video, like, uh, uh, Darren, where you're standing like right now or, or in, in your uh, restaurant, cafe, is that I had that previously. And then now looking yeah. in 4K, what a world of a difference right now. Yeah. You can look at the two of us, right? I got two windows right yeah. here. So it's greening out my face. And, you know, your point exactly when we look at our work from home setups where we've all invested in camera technology, you know, you've become accustomed to a certain look and a certain presence. So uh, I'm curious, Christian, though, you may get some comments if people are walking by. I know one guy walked up to me so far and just said, hey, <laughs> um, what do you work for? What do you do? Because I had the, 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 the C14 in my notebook. So, Yeah, no. and I think, go ahead, Christian. Um, well, you, you know what? It just, <laughs> I think it's so funny is that all these little gadgets that we have, um, we want to get the very best because we want it to be as productive as possible. So like a really nice headset, really nice web camera, this external portable monitor. We're, we're trying to mimic what we have at home, which is like super fantastic. We're spoiled. We really are yeah. at Dell. We're like, like who else can do work from home better set up than Dell, yeah. right? So yeah. We have the whole gamut of peripherals and accessories and systems. Absolutely. I think uh, we're very spoiled, very lucky. I can't wait to go back to my physical desk at home. <laughs> like, I'm going to try to make it to lunch here and then head home at lunch. 
<laughs> if I stay long, I'm going to get a big back guys, right? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the C14 um, has been rock solid. I've been using it since I got here. I feel like it's been an eternity. That's how long I've been sitting in this corner. Uh, I, I was telling you, Jessica, a little earlier about Excel. Uh, I had a spreadsheet open. It was nice to be able to do a side-by-side -side compare, not struggle, you know, maximizing, minimizing. Um, I was getting some presentation material ready for later on this afternoon. And, you know, when I hit full screen, I had it outputted on my second source. And I had my notes in front of me and, you know, the, the, the field of view content right there. So it's been awesome. Yeah, awesome. I agree with you guys. And for me, it's for, for, for a, a video call, you know, putting that video call on that portable display. And I agree with you, Jessica. I think maybe the brightness on the portable display might be a couple of nits more than my uh, latitude. I, I'm due for a refresh in a couple of months, so it might be <laughs> because it's a little bit older as well. Or, or maybe it's because I'm just thinking now, I, I put my laptop on battery saving mode so maybe it's dimmed the screen down where i don't i don't think i've dimmed the monitor itself so that's probably what i'm seeing as a difference yeah your power performance um on the windows os settings will impact how many nits are pushed out from the panel so i, I suppose if you're to go back to full performance you'd see you'd have more headroom to match the display. But essentially, yeah. if I recall correctly, based on conversations we had with the displays team, is they took the LCD panel and just created that 14 inch uh, portable monitor. Uh, so from a design language or aesthetics, everything matches. And I know I'm geeking out or getting super technical, but can't help it. One thing that I learned, and this is through trial and error, uh, so this is the cable that's actually going to my notebook. Uh, but if you actually look at the C14, there's a second USB Type-C port. Yep. So if I get my finger right, right over here. Yep. So say you were in an area where you didn't have a lot of USB Type-C ports, or maybe you're using an older device. What I can then do is take a power adapter and charge my notebook using... Nice this second type C. So now I've got my portable oh. power companion um, going to my C14 and with one cable, it's all going Everything and charging my notebook. Connected. Yeah, Dell, uh, so it Dell charges your notebook through the monitor. Yep, so it's got what we call power pass through. So Christian in the last video, he's like, I brought my mouse pad to make <laughs> it. And I said, I said, why did you bring it? Because this is a mouse Mouse pad. I don't know if you've used it, Darren, as a mouse pad, but I... I, I have not used it as a mouse pad. Right? And I brought you my can. large mouse, <laughs> and, and it worked really, really nice. Is that, uh, I think, the, the great thing about the portable monitor, uh, when, you know, using the right appropriate space management is, I find I have better posture, right? Versus when you're just looking at the one notebook, I'm slouched over, I'm looking in a corner. Yeah, and here it's always, as my chiropractor says, chest proud, shoulders back, and just more relaxed uh, with the portable yeah. monitor. And <laughs> so you guys were making fun of me earlier why I bring a mouse pad, an ergonomic one, along the way, because ergonomics is everything. We're, you know, we're, we're really on our devices all the time, always connected uh, along the way. So if, it can have something just to have better body uh, mechanism, uh, mechanisms along the way, all for it. So poor monitor, that's great for that. Awesome. True. I didn't even think about that as I'm fixing yeah. my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, shift the angle up. And, uh, this is awesome. This is really fun. fun. Yeah. Thanks, all everyone. Right. <laughs> all right. Take care. Take bye -bye. care. Bye. Bye. All right, everyone. I am headed home, thank goodness, because I really can't stand working in a cafe. I do love the portable monitor. I think it has a place, especially if you are visiting a customer, have a conference in a hotel. It is fantastic. Okay, I am now in my home office. And let me tell you, I am just so happy. I love my desk. I have my things. I can rise. I can sit. I have this lovely lamp that I get to look at. There's no people, there's no noise, it is quiet. I have a bathroom close. I have free water and drinks and snacks. 
and I don't need to worry about talking quietly on a Zoom call because no one is here that I will disturb. And those are all the things that I didn't realize when I was filming this video that there are going to be lots of people. I thought everyone is still going to be working from home. Nobody's going to be in a cafe. But when I walked into that cafe at around 8.30, it was relatively quiet. Uh, as I was leaving around lunchtime, the parking lot was full. Every Almost every single table was full that was usable. Good luck getting somewhere an, an outlet to plug in your laptop. I couldn't find one. So there's a few things that I didn't realize require some planning. And when you're on the road, you need to make sure that the internet is good enough. If the internet's not good, hotspot. Uh, but I will say the one constant was the monitor. The monitor was incredible. When I finally got to work and I had dual screen, which I've never had dual screen at a cafe, at a hotel, at a customer site, wherever you might be going, I just can't believe how seamless and great that monitor is. The only one gotcha is if you do not have a power supply or an external battery, the monitor is going to suck up a lot of that energy um, that you're using. So make sure that you do have some sort of power supply to keep your laptop charged and then the monitor will work. Another thing is I might do this once a month just to test out what are the things that are required to working somewhere else besides your home. Maybe a water bottle you need to bring, maybe an external battery, things that I didn't think about the morning of when I packed my bag. So look out for content like that, five essential things that you need when traveling. If you like something like that, give me a thumbs up, comment below what type of videos you would like to see. Also, I would like to know, are you primarily working from home? And if not, that's okay. Maybe this is something new for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. If you're watching this, it would help me out a lot. And I will see you next Monday. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you later. Take care.